get John on the last day, the invoice is coming. I'm dumbing through stacks of that cold ball. They ain't gave me on, so I'm going off. What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you the super cool punch hole transition that you guys can do. So if I push play, we're going to be creating this really cool effect here. And I did just that using this song called 180 by Tilden Park. That brings us to today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound, a personal go-to for finding music. And if you've never heard of them before, they are a Swedish-based music company that provides creators like me and you access to licensed music to be able to monetize our content. Online video creators don't need to worry about receiving copyright strikes or worry about takedown. Whether you need music or sound effects for your projects, they have a huge and always growing library of 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. The music that I used in this video was called 180 by Tilden Park and Zevi Russian. I like that the tracks are professionally produced by a diverse collection of artists and that they are exclusive to Epidemic Sound. I'm on the personal plan which is ideal for content creators who want to use copyright and strike free licensed music on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts. Or if you're a freelancer, a business, or an agency, then the commercial plan is just for you. You're allowed to monetize without the headache of receiving strikes, being demonetized, or being flagged for using unlicensed music. I've teamed up with Epidemic Sound to bring you an exclusive discount on their music service. Get a 30 day free trial and an extra two months with 75% off. The discount is valid for personal and commercial plans and is only available for five days, so don't miss out on this offer and the diverse music catalog of Epidemic Sound. Link will be in the description. What we're going to do is just go over where you can hear the beat kind of drop you just press m on the keyboard and they're going to do that for every single one you want to do that for at least maybe three just so that you can see the effect in this case i'm going to use the same clip and just reference another area in this clip so maybe the one of this girl so right here i'm going to press command b and move it over and trim this as well perfect and then i pretty much want to add in the effect now so i'm just going to move it around here this is where i want this to start which is where we have that marker you can get it as close as you can some of the frames may be a little bit off. You won't really notice that at all. Right here is fine. And what I want to do now is add the overlay and I'll show you guys where to get the overlay. I will have this page linked down in the description and this one's going to be free. Okay. So once you download the file, it's going to be in a zip file. You just want to unzip it and then it'll be in this folder and then you can open up this folder and they're going to have the PNG image. We're going to be importing them as a normal clip in Final Cut Pro. So what I want to do is drag the matte punch hole right above the clip that we want to see underneath and do the same thing for the alpha. The alpha is always going to be underneath. And then we just want to trim both of these to the same length as our clip that we want to use and then you can delete the rest. And I think this is fine here. I want to then end it here actually on that last marker that we made. So make sure that we have the matte punch hole PNG image enabled so we can see where we want to then scale down and move around the clip here so it can fit within this circle and then you're going to enable the alpha mat punch hole clip here which is the one with the white background and then you're going to go over to the inspector window go next to the blend mode and make sure this is on stencil luma select all of the three clips and then you're going to group them together so press option g and now you can move this around you know animate it if you wish which is what we're going to do so in the beginning here go to the second marker which is this one press command b to split the clip and then do the same thing on the third marker and they're going to do the same thing on this one here so there should be a total of four separate clips select the first clip and actually increase the skill uh, up a little bit but i'm actually going to do the opposite and drag it down so it's kind of like a little bit smaller and then on the second clip it's going to increase in scale a little bit so something like that so something like this and then on the third clip it's going to go back down a little bit this one here we can then make it even smaller so now if i push play John on the last day, the invoice is coming. I'm dumb. and it's very easy to do also be sure to visit the link in the description for epidemic sound i will catch you on my next video peace